A curious thing happened at the last general election. In fact, a number of curious things happened. But perhaps the most striking was that the class politics paradigm was, in essence, turned on its head. The Labour Party made the greatest gains in seats with the highest concentrations of wealthy professionals. The Conservatives in the poorest seats south of Gretna Green. In essence, the rich were voting for a man who wanted to tax them more. The struggling working class for the government of austerity and cuts to public services. It's all oh, something of a head-scratcher. On the face of it, the more an area has experienced economic decline, the worse Labour does, the better the Tories perform. Indeed, fresh analysis from the New Economics Foundation suggests perhaps an even more fundamental split between the nation's towns and cities. The former, often overlooked, even ignored in recent years, in favour of the larger, far shinier centres of wealth creation. Because of this economic model, this trickle-down theory that wealth will trickle down from the cities to the towns, we've seen many of our most valued community institutions, local news agents, community pubs, uh, local libraries, under real, real strain. If you go outside of the town centre, you will find that in many areas now they don't have a local pub, they don't have a local post office. These are things that really matter to people. They are the glue that binds communities together and they help to give shape and definition and identity to local communities. And that's why there's been such an explosion of anger. And of course, cities tended to vote Remain, the towns to leave, often putting Labour on the other side of the argument from many of their traditional support. I think Brexit was a wake-up call for mainstream politics, that there are a group of people who feel that their priorities and values have not been reflected in British politics for far too long. And actually, whoever wins the towns will win the next election. So this isn't just something that the next government needs to take seriously. This is something that all parties, but obviously I have a particular interest in Labour, we need to take this seriously right now. Music to the ears of those behind Wigan's Real Junk Food Project, also known as Fur Klempt, a local term meaning very hungry. They take foods destined for landfill and provide it for little or no cost to the local community. An example of the resourcefulness one often finds in the shadows cast by the big cities. I think central government have taken their eye off the ball, yeah. Um, I think generally we feel that in the north uh, we've been left to one side. Um, our local council um, is, is really supportive, helps local projects and helps local people make a difference to their own lives, um, but um, it's not really with any help from central government. The meat and two veg of the argument is that all areas of the region, not just the most populous parts, need tailored specific attention and potentially eye-watering amounts of investment. It can take us longer to get to Liverpool or Manchester than it can to London, you know, so it is ridiculous when we're prime, primarily positioned in Wigan, smack between the two big cities, that it can take us an age to get there um, because the, the railways are, are poor, the, the roads are congested. So we need some investment in the in infrastructure. And of course, investment, lots of it in fact, is the one thing the Labour Party is offering that the Tories are not. It's all just a bit counterintuitive, in the same way that someone with precious little knowledge of English geography might have expected to find seagulls, sticks of rock and kiss me quick hats at Wigan Pier. Of course you don't, the sea's many miles that away. You would have thought that in towns around the country, Labour would be cleaning up among those struggling blue-collar workers in this age of austerity. And the fact is, they simply aren't. Having grown up and lived around here all my life, um, I know that a lot of people in places like Wigan are very socially conservative and have a conservative core set of values. Over the years, though, they've traditionally flocked to the Labour Party because that's where they felt their home was. I think we've certainly seen a scene change in the last couple of years since Jeremy Corbyn took over that he's increasingly uh, alienated from his own traditional supporters. And he's talking a language, really, that they don't understand compounded with the Brexit vote that we had only, only last year, where we had a massive majority to leave in Wigan. And, of course, the Labour Party, you know, uh, here, we're all campaigning to, to stay within the EU. Whilst it certainly isn't all grim in towns up north, neither is life a bed of roses, and a simple belief in a better future just isn't enough. Without an effective strategy, the town-city divide will widen, and that's an obstacle both parties need to avoid.